saying to this camera what you just said now. You go on and say it again. I hate two strokes. Goodness gracious, son. Why would you say such a blasphemous and evil thing? <laughs> what was wrong with a two stroke? Tell this camera. No power at the beginning. No power at the beginning. That is true. Yeah. True that. There's no power at the beginning. I'll have to give him that. All right, but what about the power band of a two stroke? Don't you like that? It kicks my ass. Oh. oh. <laughs> Let's look at how these swing arm bearings are going to go. Collars, thrust bearings, side load bearings. The main bearing themselves, the collars go outside in the seals. These are the inside seals. It's hard doing all this one-handed. A spacer here. That spacer is too small inner diameter to go there, which is right, so that way that seals up on the outside. So that's how the bearing is going to look. Let's see what they had in here from Suzuki. Yeah, there's the outer, there's the thrust parts, there's the inner, and then there's nothing at all between the inner bearing and the inner seal. So, alright, I'm just looking at how Suzuki put all that together. Let's get these knocked out. Lucky what came out of here. We got some radial bearings from factory Suzuki parts. And this cheap bearing kit I bought just has a plastic coated greasable thrust base. I'm going to get rid of those and not use those. I'm not going to use those. I'm instead going to use... these I got to get them all cleaned up because they got sandblasted from the outside they didn't take a direct hit but they got blasted from the inside through so there's sand all over them I'm gonna clean these up real good and grease these and use these I'd rather have these in those thrust those cheap little thrust plates it's gonna be a bear to clean them up but I think it's worth it guys I found a socket that is exactly the same size minus a smidge to smack these bearings in with. Usually we'd use a press and the right collars and the right tools. But again, before you start flaming, the purpose of this video is to show you guys how you can do stuff at home. Um, ah, drink of water, sorry. So there's the right socket. These bearings are rounded on one side and flat on the other. You wanna tap them on the flat side, obviously. Um, you do not want to be hitting on that round edge and peeing it over. So you put this surface up against that surface nice and flat and that's how you do it. So I'm going to knock these out real quick and uh, go from there. Let's see how I got that set up. I got the socket that fits the bearing down in there. And I've got a couple of extensions on there. Should you be hitting extensions with hammers? No, you should not. That's completely inappropriate and unprofessional. So go buy a $150 press. If you're not going to go buy a $150 press, well, then you take a $10 extension and you do it like that. I don't know what this angle is going to look like or if I might edit this footage out. You might never see it, but we'll try it. We'll see if this does the trick for you. Moving? I don't know, it might be. It might be moving. Let's put some gooby juice up in there and get a little bit of gooby juicy up in there and see if we can loosen some of this hardened spooge. Looks like there's a flat surface that they want you to press to on the outside. Looks like. We'll try it again. I felt it move. That's it. Bearing be gone.
hope my landlord doesn't watch this video and see me pounding on his post like that. He's a nice guy. He probably wouldn't mind too much. See what happens on this side now. Ow, you dog! Ow, it wiggled and I moved my hand and I smashed my... Oh, I smashed it good, guys. Look. Look at that. I busted it wide open. I don't think I broke the bone through the skin, but I bet I broke it underneath. Yeah, that's going to be a long time before I can move that finger again. Ah, oh, dag nabbit. Well, why am I not turning the camera off? I'm not turning the camera off because... Guys, this is what can happen when you're working on stuff. You can hurt yourself. I don't know where the blood's coming out from, where it squirted, but... But, uh... Oh, there it is. I split the skin right there. I hit it so hard, it basically just mashed like a grape. So, ah, man, that's going to start to hurt soon. It ain't hurting too bad yet, but it will. Yeah, it's not cut. I basically just hit it hard enough to kind of mash it like a grape and just all the blood popped out. So, I don't know. I'll wipe it off and ice it for a little bit, see if I can use it and keep going. Ouch. If I can, great. If I can't, we'll just have to stop working for a while and I'll have to use my one good hand to clean this mess up and come back to you in a week or two when this heals up to where I can use it again. Sorry, guys. I apologize. But this is this is the reality of working on stuff right here. This this can happen. I mean, you saw what I was doing. I was holding it, trying to hit the bearing out. It's coming out, and uh, I just missed and mashed my thumb. Hit it so hard, I mashed it like a grape. But if I didn't smash the bone and pulverize the bone, it'll probably heal in a matter of a week, five days. If I mash the bone, <laughs> oh, if I mash that bone, I'm going to be out for the rest of the summer. Not from work, but from being able to ride or race. So, oh, yeah, oh, ow, oh, I think I broke it right there, maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Ah. Uh. That's a shame too, that bearing was almost out. Let's see if we can finish get this out real quick so that part's done. Yep, there we go. Alright, that part's done. Let's see if I can still work with the other hand I probably won't be able to film everything now because I I went from needing three hands to needing four now so we'll we'll see see what kind of progress I can make with this let me at least clean it up so it don't get infected I'll be back I rinsed it off and put some uh, some peroxide stuff on it and let it foam up and then rinse it off again and that dark colored purple behind it I don't think's broken bone I think it's just ripped blood vessel there's no dirt behind there I know it looks dirty but that's just ripped up blood vessel where the hammer smashed it but yeah that edge of my thumb was sitting on the flat edge of that swing arm and it smashed so hard it just popped it there's no cut I'm not gonna spread the flesh on the video because it's really gross but uh, if you look down in that cut it's not cut it's ripped you can see the meats popped all right so I'm gonna put a glove on and try to keep from getting blood all over the project 
and all over this man's uh, porch that I'm renting from. And uh, it doesn't hurt too bad yet. It's going to hurt real bad in about two, three, four hours after I calm down and put everything away and rest and get a good hot shower and sit down and eat dinner. It'll start throbbing like there's no tomorrow. I know it's going to. So between now and that time, I'm going to try to get as much done as I can. Um, there's no uh, there's no problem with the injury other than keeping it clean, and it's clean. So I'm going to put one of these gloves on it and uh, see what we can do to keep the muck out and keep rocking. Sorry. <laughs>